Hey there, family. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Minerva, if you're new. And if you're a returning family, you smart, you loyal, welcome. So, today is the first day of the joys. The joys of Christmas. So if you're new, the joys of Christmas are like my version of Vlogmas because I cannot be doing 25 days of videos back to back. I, I've made my own version of it, which is just, I aim for 10 videos back to back up until Christmas or actually Christmas Eve because I take Christmas Day off, okay? So, welcome to the Joys of Christmas. This is the first video. I'm excited. And as you can see by the title today, I'm gonna share like a basic styling routine that works for low porosity hair. So, I'm just excited for Joys of Christmas. I'm excited for this video, so I'm not gonna talk too much. Let's get into it. Ooh, I'm so happy I love Christmas okay let's go this is actually a part two to a video I already did which is like a basic regimen for low porosity hair I took you all the way from pre poo which is optional to when you've done the LOC method or the LC method just to seal in the moisture and I said like I can do a part two y'all wanted to see that so here we are so Part two, like this video, will just be like, when you've done the LOC method, what do you do with your hair now that it's moisturized? You can do like a wash and go, you can do a twist out, all of that stuff. I just wanna share like a simple basic regimen if you choose to do either a twist out or a braid out. So it's gonna take you over the course of a week, uh, so this regimen is gonna be over the course of a week, and just gonna let you know, what I do if I want to keep my hair moisturized and I want to keep it simple. Okay, so like I said, this regimen is going to be simple, but there are two things that you need to know about low porosity hair. First of all, low porosity hair takes forever, forever to dry, okay? Because it just holds on to water really well and doesn't let it go. Another thing that you need to know about low porosity hair is that because it doesn't lose water as rapidly it doesn't have a lot of space to take up new water extra products so anything that we can do to give it the chance to pick a product we gotta do that and there's a third thing i lied there's a third thing another thing is when low porosity hair is properly moisturized you good like i said it's not gonna dry out easily so there's not a lot that you have to do to it during the week stay tuned because with this uh joys of christmas i have another regimen video coming for my lazy girls like i have a lazy girl routine that is a bit more complicated on wash day itself but it keeps you with moisturized hair for like a month so if you want to see that give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for vlogmas anyway let's get into it Okay, so where we left off in our first video, right? You did the LOC method or the LC or the LCO. Point is, your hair is moisturized. So for this regimen, we're gonna take it back a little bit. Start with your leave-in in the shower, and then you put a shower cap or two on your head so that the leave-in can just get a time to marinate. You know, your hair gets a chance to, while you're in the shower, you're doing your shower routine, like your hair starts to steam and your hair gets a chance to pick up the leave-in conditioner. When you're done showering for maybe like five to 10 minutes, take off the hair caps and then you place a microfiber towel, is the word I was looking for. You place a microfiber towel on your head and you're like Nerva, that defeats the purpose, right? Hear me out. So, because you took the time to let the leave-in conditioner marinate in your hair, your hair has taken up some of the leave-in conditioner. Because you use the microfiber towel afterwards, it takes out the excess water. Your hair now has room to take up more product or more moisture. You leave that on for maybe 30 minutes, you don't have to get your hair like dry dry but you just create room for your hair to pick up a bit more moisture which brings me to my second step styling now when you've left the the microfiber towel on for 30 minutes this is the point where you take your cream or your styling product and you're gonna twist or braid your hair 
very simple uh just my two tips number one smooth your hair while you do it it just gives more shine it encourages your hair to pick up the styling product and my second tip is just make sure that the twist or braids look a bit nice a bit to your liking part your hair the way you like it because you're probably gonna have those braids and twists for a little while for a few days until your hair gets a chance to dry the second step is drying your hair like i said low porosity hair takes forever to dry so invest in cute hairstyles like trying to know how you get like cute hairstyles with twists and braids maybe do like a head wrap so your braids and twi twists get a chance to dry if you're impatient like me you can sit under a hooded dryer that's okay low porosity hair can take some type of um, medium heat without ga getting damaged easily so that's also an option so that's usually what I do. I either sit under the dryer or I make a cute hairstyle and I allow, I allow my hair to dry for two to three days. Yeah. Fast forward to two or three days. My hair is dry at that point and I just unravel the twist and rock a twist out or a braid out. And like I said, it's actually pretty easy. If your low porosity hair is moisturized, you really don't have to do a lot during the week. I personally, I don't re-moisturize a lot during the week if I know that it's gonna be exactly a week and then I wash my hair again, or it's gonna be exactly five days and I wash my hair again, then I usually don't re-moisturize. If I'm lazy, which does happen a lot, and I wanna stretch until my next wash day, that's when I, I'll, I'll, I'll re-moisturize. So re-moisturizing for me is very simple. I don't switch my hair with water first because like I said, low porosity doesn't pick up a lot of moisture or water at one time. So I either go in with, a, with my same leave-in that I used and or the same cream that I used at first. And that's when I re-moisturize my hair. I add a little bit of either one or both and then I retwist my hair. Now usually at night, whether I'm re-moisturizing or not, I place my hair in twister braids or I just put it in a bun and I always, look at me, always tie my hair with like a, uh, like a, a satin wrap or satin scarf and I sleep on a satin pillowcase. That's really important. So basically, that's it when it comes to a weekly regimen for styling and caring for low porosity hair it's simple just got to make sure that you give your hair some time to really take up the the leave-in that's why i do the thing with the the plastic cap then you got to make sure that you style it correctly give it time to dry you know your hair got to be completely dry and then if you wash every week my hair personally doesn't lose as much moisture that I have to re-moisturize. But if your hair does, please re-moisturize as often as needed. So I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that this regimen is helpful. Like I said, it's basic. It's a starting point. Please tweak it as you see fit. Stay tuned for my lazy girl friendly routine, which is coming like after a few days. Like I said, bear with me. That video might seem a little bit more complicated and less lazy, but y'all, with that routine, my hair stays moisturized for like a month before I have to wash it again. So stay tuned for that. So that was it for me for today, for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below. You can either comment something about this video, share your tips for a good uh, low porosity hair regimen, share your hacks, or you can comment something about Christmas because you know we like Christmas. Listen, I gotta find new movies, new Christmas movies with black people, okay? I need all of the Christmas movies that have black people. So my question to you is, which new movies, which old movies can I watch Christmas movies that have black people? All black cast, good. Black lead, good. Like, just let me know. Hallmark, Netflix. I don't have Hulu or Amazon TV, so just make sure I can watch it in the Netherlands. Okay, have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow for the joys of Christmas. Bye.